Welcome to Control System Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to concentrate on block diagram reduction rules. That is nothing but how we are going to find out the transfer function for a given system by using block diagram algebra. In the previous lecture, we have concentrated on basics of block diagram algebra. Okay, these are the concepts we are going to concentrate in this lecture. First one is what is the use of block diagram algebra? And second one is what are the basic connections in the block diagram and their reduction techniques means how we are going to obtain the equivalent transfer functions to these basic connections in the block diagram. Coming to use of block diagram, block diagrams are used to represent the control systems in the factorial form. Here block diagrams consisting of single block or combination of blocks. Coming to basic connections in the block diagrams, we are having three basic types of connections in the block diagram algebra. In that first one is a series connection and second one is a parallel connection and third one is a feedback connections. Now we are going to discuss these three types of connections in detail. Means if the blocks are connected in series, what is the equivalent transfer function? If the blocks are connected in parallel, what is the equivalent transfer function? Similarly, if the blocks are connected in feedback, then what is the equivalent transfer functions we are going to discuss now. Okay, first consider series connections. Series connection also known as the cascade connection. Okay, consider two blocks which are having the transfer functions G1 of S and G2 of S are connected in series. Okay, this is the first block and this is the second block. These two blocks are connected in series. Here X of S is the input and Y of S is the overall output from this series connected blocks. Okay, in this we can represent the series connection of two blocks with a single block. Means we are going to reduce the series connected blocks with a single block. That is, this is the equivalent representation of two blocks which are connected in series. That is the transfer function of single block. The transfer function of this single block is the product of transfer functions of the two blocks. Here these are the two blocks which are having the transfer functions G1 of S and G2 of S. These two blocks are connected in series. Okay, This series connected can be represented by a single block which is having the transfer function is the product of these two transfer functions that is G1 of S into G2 of S. This is about the series connection of blocks. If we consider n number of blocks are connected in series, then the equivalent block consisting of product of transfer functions of all the blocks. Okay, That is the about series connection of blocks. Coming to parallel connection of blocks, here the blocks which are connected in parallel will have the same input. Okay, This is the representation of parallel connection of blocks. Here G, these are the two blocks which is having the transfer functions G1 of S and G2 of S. These two blocks are connected in parallel. Now by using block diagram reduction rules we are going to represent these two blocks with a single block. We can represent the parallel connected blocks with a single block. That is the transfer function of single block. The transfer function of this single block is the sum of transfer functions of two blocks. Sum of the transfer functions of two blocks. That is, this is the parallel connection of two blocks which is having the transfer functions G1 of S and G2 of S. Okay, these two inputs means these two blocks are connected in parallel with the, this summing point. So this parallel connected blocks can be represented by a single block. The transfer function of this single block is the sum of transfer functions of these two blocks. That is G1 of S plus G2 of S. Okay, this is the representation of two blocks which are connected in parallel. Coming to third type of connection, that is the feedback connection. Generally, we are having two types of feedbacks. First one is a positive feedback and second one is a negative feedback. Now we are going to consider negative feedback representation. 
okay this is the negative feedback representation okay here these are the two blocks which are connected in the feedback form that to negative feedback form now we are going to represent these two blocks with a single block okay that is we can represent the negative feedback connection of two blocks with a single block okay the transfer function of this single block transfer function of this single block is the closed loop transfer function of a negative feedback system okay the transfer function of this single block is the closed loop transfer function of a negative feedback system okay that is nothing but okay this is the negative feedback system the transfer function of this system is g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s okay this is for negative feedback system if we consider of positive feedback system these two blocks can be represented by a single block which is having the transfer function g of s by 1 minus g of s into h of s that is for positive feedback system this is about feedback connection of two blocks